Hello and welcome to another edition of the Sean C. Sense. Happy holidays, everybody. So, Friday I went to IWL, Wreck the Halls 3, Wreck the World. Awesome show. Vic Lenny put on a great show. From top to bottom, great, great card. First match, we got Kate Carver's Rankin. Two up and comers from the San Diego area battling it out. Kid Karamba came out with the win. I always hate to see Ryu come on losing side. He's a, he's a high school kid and he, he's, he can do real good. I, I see good potential in him. Next, we got Intergener match for Chris Evers Ra, Ra, Raz, Raze. I didn't really care for this match. It was week, one of the weakest matches on the card. The Battle Royal I, I missed, which was pre show. That was one of the weakest matches, matches on the card. So, Chris Evans won. Ah, uh, that's alright. And then we had Johnny Evers, Eric Cross. Good match, good match. Eric Cross went over a roll up, continuing his heel turn. It's going to be not his heel turn, but kind of continuing his heel run with Ray Rosas. So, next match we had was Famous B and Willie Mack. I was really important to my face. Willie Mack was 16s. Well, they killed it. That great. It was great. Famous B and Willie Mack had great chemistry. Famous B and Willie Mack were my personal favorites. They had great, great chemistry. They did great moves and stuff. It was. Fantastic tag team, tag team match. And it'll be a good challenger for tag, tag, tag team champions, the Young Bucks. So I'd love to see next show, Famous being one back in title shot, because they won last night, last night, and I've heard that they're going to continue tagging for IWL in the near future. So then with intermission, and after that, we had three title matches in a row. First, we had the Anarchy title match, Drake Younger versus Ray Rose as the champion. We had Eric Cross coming out like Paul Heyman holding up the title. The Drake ever got a mic, so he wanted to do it under Anarchy Rules. So it became a hardcore match. We had a center block. We had trash cans. It was a brutal match. It was Drake Younger style. He brought CCW to Chino. But in the end, Ray Rosas won. And, and is still the world Anarchy Champion. Ray Rosas can't say much about him. He's one of the best performers in SoCal. I've been watching him since June. He's awesome. Fanny Pack Nation, that's what I am. It's hard to root against him, but Drake Younger, I interviewed him. You should check out the interview I'll part later, but I interviewed him last night. Drake Younger's awesome. And I, you got, it, he's just great, man. He looks up matches and stuff. So, and then we had uh, the tag team title match. The Young Bucks versus Screw Up the Sky and Heejah Perkins. I might, get this, I might get this backwards. I think it was Younger and Race Bros. after. The Young Bucks versus uh, Sky and Perkins. Young Bucks and Perkins was an excellent match. Loved it. It's weird rooting for Sky because he's a bad guy, and I don't really care of him personally. Just no download. Nothing I can't see him here, but personally I don't care. Sorry for my pause and stuff. I haven't done a review show in a while, so it's just me getting back in the groove of things. But next year is going to be a big year. And after the review, I'll get to everything that I'm going to do next year and the new plan for this channel. And a new plan for the shop says so new plan for me as is bachelor review of IWL, Rick the Halls 3, Rick the World, must see show, I say. Yeah, much is this. Sam Perkins put on a great match as usual. Then we had the Fatal 4 way Tyler Bateman, Chris Cadillac, B Boy, and Zara Suave. I really kind of didn't watch the match because I was talking to Jacob Jacob Diaz during the match, so Johnny Suave kicked the type title like usual, and then some kind of incident ensued afterwards where the referee got punched. So crazy. And after show, I found three interviews. Mixtape Kings, Famous B, and Drake Younger. Great interviews. The interviews came out great. I loved it. I love doing interviews. I think I'll do a lot more after shows. And I think this channel, I know it started out as me and Norman, the Storm and Norman show doing it, but I think it's just going to be the SoCal Indy, uh, SoCal Indy Wrestling News show. I'm going to review SoCal Indy Wrestling shows. It's mostly what the channel is going to be to help promote the younger talent here in SoCal. And so can only wrestle, and that's what this channel is going to be about from now on. So, I'm going to let Norman know about his departure from the show. Norman might be back later on, but for now, this channel will be interviews, reviews, preview shows, guests. You don't know who's going to show up, but we're going to promote the Southern California Indy scene. Actually, we're going to promote NorCal, all of California. I am the, your guy to report all that news. IDVL, PWG, Apex Pro, El Papi Pinita Promotions. All these shows I'm going to promote. And Dragon USA is coming up next month here, coming to California, which is awesome. The 25th in Santa Maria, the 26th out at Pina Dome, which is Henry Park, 26th, 27th. You buy a front row, you get five for $100, save 20 bucks. 
Let's start on talk about indie wrestling. Talk about all kinds of wrestling, but mainly this channel will focus on SoCal Pro Wrestling. That's the end of Sean's for now. Norman hasn't done the video in a while, so Norman's not officially gone, but I don't know. It just seemed like my direction, where I'm going with my life, is not where he's going. So we might have to split what uh, part ways for now. But later on, he could be back. I don't know. But for now, for now on, it'll be reviews of PWG, interviews of the latest SoCal stars, promoting Hollywood, CWH Hollywood, Chester's Hollywood, promoting that. And Chester's Hollywood will be starting a weekly showcase at Santini Brothers in Bell Gardens. And Dollar Nation, also you can see all the great stars, Ray Rosas, Famous B, Joey Chaos, all the great stars of Hollywood every week. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to try to get out there and do some interviews. And it's almost three minute, five minute interviews of all the great stars around here. So if you're an indie wrestler in SoCal looking to uh, do a promo or something, I'll put it on my site. That's what I'm going to do. The Shards of Sense for you guys. Yes. I'm going to continue the link blog, the Shards of Sense group page. You can search on Facebook. I'll continue that. It'll be about entertainment, pictures of hot chicks like usual. And Ralph will be still involved in that. Normal will be still involved in that. The link blog is not going anywhere, but the video channel is going to change for now and mostly be me. And I'm hoping to get bigger next year. So expect more of me, more interviews. So the interview with Mac really changed me because I really love the interview. And Drake Yarger's interview is great. So check those out. So make sure to like this video and subscribe. And just, it's going to be good. And next year, 2013, it's going to be great. And I'll be back here when I get more information with DJSA now to talent. I'll be back later on with a PWG a preview for DG4, which is a stack card. January 12th, Reseda, California. $3 generation tickets on ProSgirl.com. Now, I got to be for now. I, I got to say it. $30 for generation. Come on, PWG. Go back 25 And people, stop fucking drinking in the parking lot. Yes. And uh, ho, ho, ho. Make sure to like and subscribe. And look at this goatee. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe to, subscribe to the channel. I need more subscribers, man. And make sure to share and tweet all my videos. Get it out there. Come on. The Sean Sense is, is, is helping out the local talent. I'm helping out the Young Bucks, Famous Beanbray, Roses, everybody. I'm here to help out everybody in SoCal. Come on, people. Make sure to share and tweet the videos. Okay. Peace. Peace, my brothers.